This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull the charts. The first chart, let me go in order here, is the Euro Pound. If you recall during yesterday's report, I added this uh, simple resistance line on the daily chart. I also had a scenario in my head where prices might come up and test this short-term resistance line, and then that could be a good short trade and covering down near this support line here. Uh, prices never made it all the way up uh, to that resistance line during yesterday's session. With that being said uh, right now viewing this chart uh, for aggressive short-term traders they might wait for prices to come down and test this line one more time I'd like to place a stop uh, beneath this low right here which is about the 89 uh, 10 area so that could be a trade uh, set up over the next 24 to 48 hours and again we, we might target the the shorter term daily resistance line here where we might flip to a short trade. Uh, but again, I would not give this trade any more room uh, than with than a stop beneath that 89.10 area, maybe 89.05, something like that. Longer term, I still target the 88.50 area, which is this horizontal line here. The next chart is the Aussie Kiwi. And during yesterday's uh, report, I mentioned a, a possible short trade based off the long wick on this candle. And I was wrong. I love being wrong. And you have to embrace being wrong. You have to embrace your losses. So I want to explain uh, how uh, a normal trader or, or a successful trader would have lost in this situation. And price is coming down towards the bottom of this wick here. A trader might have entered a few pips above the low of that candle wick. And then again, be stopped out as prices uh, came beneath the low of of that candle wick and again that would be maybe a 30 to 40 to 50 pip uh, loss depending on your individual risk parameters uh, but again learning how to lose is the most important aspect of trading uh, so zooming out here this is the longer term channel uh, personally I, I just I I'm not exactly, obviously I'm never sure what's going to happen, uh, but if you're in this trade from that 24, uh, I believe 24.30 or 24.20 entry uh, from I believe Thursday's report, um, I might look to take uh, profits here. It's, it is looking a little toppy and prices might come down and test the former resistance line from the opposite side, which could now act as support. Uh, with that being said, prices did leave behind a long wick here, uh, which could be a, a bullish signal as well. Uh, so it's really your call. Personally, I would just exit everything right now and wait for the longer term, more favorable setup, which would be this uh, former resistance line here, which might now act as support. The next chart is the pound Swiss, and not much has changed here. Price is still in the middle of the range, so if you're still in that long trade with a portion of your position, I would continue to hold the trade right now, and I really don't see anything in terms of favorable risk-reward setups as prices, again, are in the middle of that range. The next chart is the Euro Swiss, and somebody just, I'm going to go to sleep, somebody wake me up when this thing breaks out. Um, the, the maturity of this pattern, obviously, it's been in place for a long time. Price is getting closer to the to the apex of the triangle, and in fact, I believe there's only a day or two left uh, before prices must uh, break out. Um, but, it, but again, if this is central bank action, if this is intervention or something like that, uh, the upside or downside could be capped as well. Uh, but I am on the sidelines. I'm going to wait for the actual breakout. Uh, because the actual breakout, if it does occur, I'm treating this as a normal um, triangle pattern, uh, regardless of the reason why it formed. And usually, when things like this happen, you know, there's always a backstory. There's always a reason as to why prices are in a triangle. In this case, central bank intervention or the possibility of that is is could be what's capping prices on both sides. Um, but again, I'm just playing it as a regular triangle pattern, which means as price is condensed, as the range condensed, um, there should be, or in theory, a large breakout in either direction, maybe 100 or 150 pip candle, maybe like one of the, one of these green candles here or or here. Um, so moving forward, that's something to look at. Person, more aggressive traders might take a shot. Again, I'm favoring an upside, an eventual upside breakout. That's just how it, it sets up in my mind's eye. Um, but again, that's for more aggressive traders to, to enter now. More conservative traders such as myself are going to wait for the actual breakout and then look to enter on either a back test or in that case if there is a breakout you might be able to I, I personally would accept a little more risk uh, again because of the maturity of the pattern and the significance of the breakout again this is Matt Russell and please stay tuned for a preview of the daily FX forums I want to go ahead and formally welcome everybody to the Daily Effects Forum. And I want to explain a little bit about the forum and the wealth of information uh, that you can obtain from the forum and how to go about doing so, how to find the things you want. So I'm just going to dive right in uh, right now. And this is Daily Effects. 
Facebook.com. This is usually how I navigate my way towards the forums. Obviously, you know, it really depends on each individual uh, how they access the forums. But this is how I go ahead and do it. I go to DailyFX.com. Go ahead and click on the forum on top. And this brings you to the Daily FX forum homepage. And this highlights the most recent posts uh, with the subject. So if you see anything that you're interested in, uh, you can obviously go ahead and click. What I like to do is, is click on the forums tab like this and go ahead and view the forums um, in, in the normal, typical way that forums are set up. And, and here you go. There are a bunch of threads down here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go directly to, to the forum, which you, the video you just viewed, where you viewed it. So let's go ahead. This is the Daily FX Instructor Tips Forum. Identifying trades with daily FX. That's me. And go ahead and click on the most recent post. So this is where you are uh, right now viewing the video. Although the video will be uh, the video beneath this one that you're watching right now. Um, so. Normally, when, when I'm on the forums, and what I would do is just scroll up to the top. Certainly, you can check out uh, any of my previous videos, and, and uh, you know, especially if I did mention them uh, in in the report or in the video that you're viewing uh, at that moment. And I, what I will do is go ahead and click on the forums, and then look for for the forums that I like, you know, that I have interest in. Uh, one of them would be uh, the the Euro Dollar forum, and, and this again, it, it's really uh, up to each individual trader as to exactly how they want to use the forum. Personally, Personally, uh, what I like to do, the first thing I do is I'll go to the Euro dollar thread, I'll go and click on the latest post, and what I'll do here is, and, and again, uh, I just want to you know, really emphasize this point, it depends on, on your exact mindset when you're viewing, uh, and me as a trader, I have some experience, so what I do, and how I personally use the forum, is I go through and I'll read what, what people are saying about the Euro, what their trade ideas are, I certainly you know, try to maintain my own individual uh, objectivity, and I really don't uh, pay much attention to what other traders are saying in terms of my um, in terms of my trading. I'm not going to certainly see something on a forum and then go jump into a trade. But what it will do, it will open my eyes to certain trading opportunities, maybe a certain line or a certain time frame that I haven't looked at before. So that's one way that I personally uh, like to utilize the Daily FX forum. Uh, but certainly for newer traders, there are plenty of topics uh, that you can go over. Um, let's say you know you're not. It, you might not be well versed in terms of certain currency pairs that you want to learn about. Scalping, you might not know what Elliott Wave is. You can go ahead and click there and see exactly what you can, you know, what you can understand, what you might not understand, and then certainly feel free to ask questions about any of this, to any of these topics that you have. Uh, maybe the carry trade, maybe you have some questions about that, or the sentiment, the SSI, um, or uh, the latest economic news, um, FX programmers, the webinars, MT4. Any questions about Active Trader? You can go ahead and click on those threads. Uh, so again, it's very free, very open, and there is a wealth of information here and just waiting for it to, to be utilized. Again, this is Matt Russell. Thank you for listening.